Has this ever happened to you? Stayed up all night studying, haven't got a clue what you're doing, frustrated, don't know how to run your life, wake up in the morning looking like a foot? <coughs> well, this video is for you. How to survive law school 101. Okay, enough of the cheesy voiceover, guys. I'm going to give you guys five tips on how to survive law school. So this mess of a life does not happen to you. A lot of you guys always ask me about law school, how I managed to come out of the other end alive. So I thought I would give you guys five tips on how to survive law school. And these tips don't just apply to law school, they apply to university in general. So basically how to survive university, especially because we're approaching the time where students start to buckle down and really start to study for their end of year exam. So my first tip for you guys would be to surround yourself with like-minded people. I can't stress the importance of this enough and why it is my number one tip. You definitely need that support group. Making friends who are just as committed and just as determined as you to succeed at getting the grades that you want is essential because when you are running late or you can't make it to class or something happens, you're going to need someone to call who has taken some serious notes. And if you've got someone who doesn't go to class and basically sits in the back, chats on their phone, checks Instagram all day, their notes aren't going to be looking that hot. Also, I don't need to tell you guys, I'm sure you already know, but most of your lifelong friendships are formed in university. Amy's my best friend and we met in the first year of university and we've been inseparable ever since. She lives in a different city and we're still friends. It's been almost six years. If you surround yourself with the intelligent ones in your class who always go to class and always have your back, then you'll always know where your exams are, what's going on in university, what's going on in your classroom, and you'll know about the latest parties, you'll know about everything that's going on in law school. Can you say squad goals? Yes, those are the type of squad goals that you want to have, okay? Tip number two is to always plan ahead. Failure to plan is planning to fail. I know you guys have heard it time and time again and it's kind of cliche to say, but it's true. If you don't plan when your essays are gonna come out, if you don't plan when you're gonna go to classes, which classes you're gonna take, then you're not gonna have a clue what's going on and you're probably going to end up with a grade that you didn't want. One of the things that really helped me in uni is to have those year calendars. They give them out every start of the year at every bookshop. Anything that you need to have a constant nagging reminder of, pop that on your calendar and you'll see it every morning. It will motivate you to get it done and get it done way before the deadline comes. Uni reps themselves give them out at freshers week so you always get like a fresher pack with a term time calendar pens highlighters all sorts of things that you'll need for free okay so you have no excuses to not plan your year when it's time to deliver coursework and essays your lecturers are your best friends they're going to definitely help you but sometimes in the world of Instagram and Facebook, we lose ourselves with our grammar and we end up having some pretty shoddy grammar. Not only that, but everything has autocorrect now and sometimes autocorrect is not always correct. A really useful tool to make sure that you don't hand in an essay with dodgy grammar or even worse, send off a poorly worded email or CV to a potential employer is Grammarly. Grammarly is an online proofreader. It checks for spelling mistakes, punctuation, grammatical errors, but I think the thing I like about it the most is that it enhances your vocabulary. So it checks to see if you use the same adjective twice in a row and it suggests synonyms in its place. It also suggests citations and it checks for plagiarism, which just blows my mind. I remember when I had to turn in essays and used to use this thing called turn it in and I remember sitting there being anxious and waiting for the score even though I knew I hadn't plagiarized anything but I'd still sit there waiting for the score while turn it in checked all around the UK other universities to see if any of the work was plagiarized it was a painful experience but this makes sure that that doesn't happen you can check all your work beforehand the best thing about Grammarly is that it's free all you need to do is download it Add it to your extensions for Chrome or Safari or whatever it is that you're using. Or you can simply copy and paste your text directly into the Grammarly online editor. It's really easy to use. I can't tell you guys how many times that I've been distracted doing something else while sending professional emails. And I mean to write shift but I miss out that F and Grammarly saves my butt. So yeah, definitely try it out. I'll leave the links and everything in the description bar for you guys. Tip number three, make use of your lecturers. Don't just go to classes, listen to what they have to say and then leave. 
ask questions make sure you get to know them because when you need a recommendation those are the people that are gonna have to say that they know something about you and then for three years you've just sat in their class and did absolutely nothing and sat there then they're not gonna know what to write about you and it's gonna seem like a really impersonal letter of recommendation that they're gonna offer you because they don't know anything about you. Go to their surgical hours, ask as many questions as you can. I'm sure they will tell you and I'm telling you there are no stupid questions. Tip number four is staying healthy. It's really important to make sure that you eat really well, especially if you're gonna have late nights and super early mornings going to lectures, going to classes, and then staying up all night studying. You don't wanna end up looking washed out, dried out, all sorts of crusty, dusty, and busted. Can't come to your classes, you've got Cheetos in your hair, and you're walking around in your onesies and PJs going to classes. It is not a good look. You wanna be put together, you wanna have your life organized and look like you know what you're doing. So making sure that you take time out to recharge, making sure that you eat well, and working out will keep your body active as well as keep your mind clear when you need to de-stress. You definitely don't want to be surviving on junk food and sweets all day long, especially if you have a really hard day at uni. You're just going to feel lethargic, you're not going to be able to concentrate, and eventually you're going to go nuts from the sugar crash. So make sure you keep a few healthy snack options with you in your handbag or your uni bag, wherever you're going, just to make sure that you keep yourself on point and charged throughout the day. And my last tip for you guys, tip number five, managing your money. Now, as students, we all know that we don't have a big budget, but we still love fashion, we love clothes, we love all that good stuff, and most times we can't afford it. And most people will spend their entire student budget on clothes and shoes and outfits and eat cereal for the rest of the year until student loan drops again. You don't wanna be doing that. If you have time, get yourself a part-time job. There are always jobs around university campus that you can actually do. I, for one, worked at my university halls of residence, which meant that my accommodation was half price, so I got to save some money on that, and I had a student job in the city working at Foot Locker. So those are just two of the jobs that I had in my first and second year of university. Don't get me wrong, I'm no saint. There were a few times where I was living off of potatoes and beans with Amy because we spent all our money on some nonsense or the other. But I'm trying to help you guys not make the same mistakes that I did, okay? So make sure you manage your money properly. Make sure you go to the supermarket and buy food so that things are cheaper. Going back to point number four, you can make pack lunches and bring them to school with you so that you don't have to end up buying really expensive cafeteria food. It's all interlinked, people. Don't depend on bank of mum and dad to help you out. Organize your finances so that you don't have to go back running to your parents and they think that you're independent when you go off to uni and they won't have to worry about their little baby. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope those tips were helpful. And I will see you guys in my next video. If there is anything that you guys want me to talk about specifically to do with university or law school, then let me know and I will do that for you guys. So thanks for watching guys. Bye.